Ben knew that with someone else along for the ride, looking for Grumps would seem idiotic. Within two hours of escaping the presidential suite, he was lost. If he got to the Pacific Ocean and ran out of West, what would he do? Oh my God! Jesus! Good boy! Good boy! Oh, good boy! Down! Down! I am so sorry. I didn't expect to see anybody up here. It's okay. He just caught me off guard. That's all. Are you okay? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I'm fine. I'm just. I, I'm. Uh, Feel a little lightheaded. You want some water or something? Yeah, sure. Thanks. was a supreme understatement. Ben's mother had sung Un Canadien Errant, a French-Canadian folk song, to him every night growing up. The words were embedded in his DNA. Of all the songs Tracy could pick, that she chose this one had to mean something. The ground rules of the campfire sing-along clearly state that everyone has to participate. Honestly, you don't want me to sing. Really, I insist. Si tu vois mon pays, mon pays malheureux. Si tu vois mon Ben had never taken a complete inventory of things he found unappealing about Samantha. She was a routine girl. Everything had to be done in a certain order. Deviating from this caused sleeplessness and general irritability. In spite of Ben's efforts, Samantha steadfastly refused to quantify movies, books, and behavior of members of his family on the one to 10 scale. A major disappointment to Ben, as this had been the filter through which he classified many parts of his life. Ben regretted how their sex life had lost some of its earlier carnal urgency. Do you mind if we wait till tomorrow? And finally, most annoying of all, Samantha's jaw clicked when she ate. Ben was certain that as the years went by, he would cease to even notice it. You have a fantastic voice. That's nice of you to say, but I've long since given up on the hope that I could sing. Well, I have perfect pitch, and you can definitely sing. That was dreadful! My fourth grade teacher lied to me. What are you talking about? It's not important. So what's your second book about? I didn't write a second novel. Any ideas, or...? Oh, no. No, no, rejection pretty much killed my creativity. You know, my grandfather used to quote Thomas Edison to me ad nauseum when I was a kid. His favorite line? Many of life's failures are people who did not realize how close they were to success when they gave up. Okay, but... There's perseverance, and then there's just delusion. Well, I guess somebody's got to fill the world's delusional quotient. (sighs) 
What would you do if you had one week to live? Uh, maybe just doing what I'm doing right now. My mind's not on tomorrow or yesterday or even three hours from now. It's just here. What would you do? I'd make love to you. Why? I'm just searching for love. 